Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason, and today we are back with some more Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Uh, last time, we uh, we continued doing the main quest a little bit, and uh, we we basically ran into these uh, these guys sitting around town. They like to keep telling us this weird stuff about being beneath Red Mountain, and Lord Tagoth sleeps, but when he wakes, we all shall rise, and the dust will blow away, and telling us to serve Dagother, and the sixth house is risen, and all the stuff that's written on the screen. Yeah, we ran into some of those guys, and I think that has something to do with the, uh, the main quest. Actually, no, I'm, I, I, it's more than I think I, I know for a fact that has to do with the main quest, but I'm not gonna go into, into the details of that, because I don't want to spoil anything. You know, d even though I have not beaten the game before, I, uh, still have a, uh, I still have an idea of where it goes. I don't know exactly how it concludes, but I know where it goes, roughly. All right. Now, what I wanted to do, and we're coming back to see our I old friend here, Revere, God. because, uh, I had gotten a, a comment, and I'm very sorry, there was, um, they left a, uh, they left a, 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 um, a note, they had a name, uh, and, uh, I completely, uh, blanked on it, uh, but they had mentioned, you know, um, you know, like bound, bound bows, for example, and I'm like, you know what, that's a great idea, you know, I was trying to work on bound, um, I got, I got my bound day or, you know, early on so that I could use that, and I figured, hey, I could go ahead and maybe get myself a bound bow, and that way I could work on my marksmanship, so that's kind of the first thing I want to do, I want to sort of increase my, um, my abilities, uh, it, we'll say, uh, in ranged combat a little bit, so I'm kind of running around looking for... Uh, a uh, somebody who's going to get me like a a bound longbow spell. Now I'm not sure if anyone will be able to, um, because they might not have it, and the it's possible that only the uh, the mages guild in Aldrun may be able to uh, give me that spell. But if I can't get it, which never mind, we've just concluded that I can get a longbow. Awesome, bound longbow. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, I believe we had some mages, uh, guild quests that we could do, uh, we'll say here, well, not in town, but for this mages guild. Uh, and one of them was, uh, actually to head back to Panabi. Now, I, I said we would, I needed to do some enchanting last time, but, uh, I'm not really feeling any need to do so right now, so what I'm going to do, another thing we're gonna do. You're we're going to go ahead and run all the way back to, uh, Punabi. I'm, of course, I'm gonna be going ahead and making a cut. Uh, where was, uh, Punabi? It was, um, it was near Mirandas, so it's gonna be over here. What I'm going to do, I, I was thinking about this, I'm like, you know what, the game, it's too easy, too easy! Uh, so since we are level 13, was it? Oh, I gotta double check that, yes, level 13, let's go ahead and, uh, increase the difficulty level up to three times. So we're gonna put three points into difficulty for every level we, uh, we gain, so that's gonna bring us up to 39. And hopefully that will... Where am I going? There we go. Oh. <laughs> There's no 39! <laughs> Alright, we'll go to 40 then. There we go. We're gonna put the difficulty up to 40 and uh, maybe that will give us a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a challenge. Uh, because I'm finding things are just going down way too quick. Now watch, I'm gonna run into like some really tough Nord and he's gonna like one-shot me with his axe. Um, now I have a bound longbow. But I don't believe that the, uh, the longbow itself... Uh, creates arrows. So, let's go ahead and see. Uh, wizard Staff, that's what we have for Levitate. It's on six. Ooh, we've got a Demon Tanto here. Uh, that's where we get our Bound Dagger. Uh, so, you know, let's just put it on seven for now. Uh, where, where are we at? We are looking for Bound Longbow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to get some actual arrows for that, so... Uh, does the Armorer have them? I'm not too sure where to buy arrows. I'm pretty sure, uh, Meldor here has arrows. Let's see. What's your question? My question is, can I buy arrows from you? I cannot. Hmm. Pawnbroker! Do you- does, does anyone come in and say, hey, you know, I got a bunch of arrows there I don't want- Yeah, there we go, chitin arrows. These are absolutely terrible arrows, and we could probably get some better ones. But these ones are here. So let's go ahead and buy 200 of those. Uh, and I'm not paying more than 200 for them. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. What Working a little about? bit on our, our mercantile. So let's go ahead and equip those arrows. So now whenever we go ahead and cast our bound longbow, uh, but we can't really cast it because our fatigue is terrible. Huh. All right. Well, we, we can, we can fix that. Um, kind of. Here, I'll just increase my fatigue uh, real, uh, real quick here. 
Ooh, this is actually good. Yeah, this is gonna be a, a tough one for me. My uh, my conjuration is not that great, so this is not gonna be a very reliable spell. But I want to try it out a little bit. Um, you know, since we've uh, you know we're uh, we're kind of uh, we we up to the difficulty level. Let's just try taking on some of these these netches. So there we go. Hit one netch. Wow, we did uh, quite a bit of damage to that. Um. And now we don't seem to be able to, uh, to hit it. That's, oops, I accidentally hit my right mouse button. Alright, then we'll try hitting this one. And then when these Metroids come down and try to kill us, then, uh, then we will see how much damage they really do. Uh, you know what? Dang, I, I was not expecting to do this much damage to these guys. There we go, another one dead. Or not another one dead, but the first one dead. Like I said, we want, I want to work on the marksmanship a little bit here. And, uh, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. A Betty Netch. So we can get ourselves some, uh, Netch Leather, which is, uh, really not worth it. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab- we're just gonna eat it. Why not? Just eat it. And, uh, re-equip the arrow. Now, in, uh, Morrowind, um, you don't really get to keep as many arrows, uh, I find as, um... In other uh, Elder Scrolls games, I find uh, the arrows are a lot easier to say recover. Uh, but in uh, in in Morrowind, uh, sometimes you'll like fire ten arrows into a guy, and you'll only pull back, we'll say one back out of them. Now, I have done. Well, I I guess I can't really say I've done a lot of archery. I've, I've played around a little bit with, um, like I have fired like crossbows and stuff like that. And you know, I I know that it's possible that you can you know you can damage your arrow. Um, you know, it's when you, when you hit uh, some targets and stuff like that. And I, I understand what happens sometimes if you miss a shot, your arrow goes off. It's like, well, that, that, you've lost that. So, you know, I think that that's kind of realistic in, in a way. Um, but at the same time, I don't think we will lose arrows that often. Um, like I said, my experience is limited with that. But anyways, we're heading back to Panabi. So I will see you guys. Oh, you know what? You guys should know why. Why are we going to Panabi? Uh, well, I should explain it to you. See... Uh, you know, in case you're just joining us, uh, you know, n newly here, you're you're new to the uh, to the, the, the playthrough. Uh, it's a Mage's Guild quest, in which uh, where is it? Renis. Uh, she wants me to convince La Larar Beraloth to join the guild. If he cannot be convinced, I must kill him. And then he's in Silipon. But there's also uh, some way a Manwe, a guild member in Punabi, has not paid any guild dues. So. We got, we're gonna go ahead, it's kind of like a co collection quest. We're going to pick up, we'll say, the guild dues. Now, uh, this quest cause was always sort of interesting to me, um, athletic skill, because, just, because, um, we never have to pay guild dues. I think that would be an interesting thing to have in the game where you have to pay your guild dues to the guild, you know, for the services. Um, but, I don't know, maybe, maybe there was a different arrangement and that's, so there's a reason why she owes dues and we don't, I don't know. But anyways, we'll be back in a little bit. Now I figured I'd show this because we're kind of taking a different path than uh, we've uh, we've uh, we'll say typically been taking. Um, we're actually coming back around. Uh, you know, I, I'm actually going to try to pronounce this thing correctly this time. Um, oh, okay, he went through the floor. Uh, there's a uh, Dweamer ruin here, which you know I don't even have the name of. Uh, I would have to go ahead and check my journal because we did a quest here. But basically, that's where we got the Dweamer puzzle box was in there. Um, we're coming by here, but I'm actually going to be going uh, past it. There was a little path here. It looked like I could continue across. Uh, so I figured uh, we'd go this way, and uh, and wow! It, wait, did did I up the difficulty? Did did it, did it take difficulty forty? Okay. Uh, I guess we are just that potent? Really? Wow. Uh, Alright, so I guess we're not going to be doing any sneaking. We're just going to keep running. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to show this uh, area off because it's not a, an area we've uh, been to. As you can see here, it's kind of... Uh, once we get down there, then I can go ahead and make a cut. And there's... Ooh. Dwarven Halberd in wa water. I don't think I want the, uh, the Dwarven Halberd, but... Uh, it's nice to see the, that note there. I noticed that I was being kind of responsible. You know, and, and noting things down, because I'm, I'm usually terrible at taking notes. Oh, there we go. That was a decent hit, I think, from a, a cliff racer. I think they went from posing no threat to potentially being a pain in groups. 
I don't know. We I see a, a frost Atronach off in the distance here. I think he'll be a more of a uh, a true, we'll say, um, representation of how uh, how powerful some of the uh, the enemies are going to be. I see a cliff racers all over the place. There's a Nyx Hound. Uh, we're not. Let's. Uh, all right. Let's try. It. Oh, whoa. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we're talking. You know, when we're actually fighting against enemies that are, oh dang, that are closer to our power level. Ah. You know, we, we actually have a bit of a, th a threat here. Wow. I gotta get my heel up, uh, my heels up pretty quick there. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Uh, I think that's, uh, that makes things a little bit more exciting. Uh, you, we see how far my, my healing item was, uh, was brought down. It's, uh, we lost, what, maybe a third, a third of my, my healing power. Uh, that's great. That is, that is, that is fantastic. That means that, uh, that means we're having a bit of a challenge here. So, you know, the, the stronger enemies are going to pose a bit of a threat. We can't just run up and start, uh, backstabbing them to death. Uh, we, we can, we can do that too, but, um, my goal, my hope is, uh, that we could, um, where is it? Uh, that we can kind of, uh, work our difficulty all the way up to, uh, 100, and then just sort of continue playing the game, like, fr from there. All right. Uh, we have a bull net here. Oh, and we have a, uh, cliff racer. Okay. I want to try to get my marksman up a bit. Oh, crap. And my fatigue is too low. There we go. Let's, uh, let's experiment a little bit here. Now, one thing. When you are crouched, and you're trying to do marksmanship, uh, you'll notice the arrow kind of fires out a little bit off to the side, and it's got a little bit, it's, uh, it's trajectory is a little bit, uh, off to, I believe, the left. Yeah, there we go. A little bit off to the left, so you, you can't fire right where you're cross Or did they change it? Was that fixed? Uh, okay. That's cool. Uh, that's, that's really weird, because I, I seem to recall... I am crouched, right? Yes. Well, I, I remember there being something different about the tra trajectory. It comes a little bit off more to, from the, the left. Okay, let's see this next sound here. I'm going to fire the first shot uh, crouched, and then the second shot I'm going to fire standing. And I only need one shot. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it just comes off a little bit from the, the left. Oh, darn, I shouldn't have. Oh, well. There we go. We've gone ahead and we've uh, slain a few things with uh, our arrows. Which is, uh, great. I just dropped the, <laughs> uh, come on, pick it up. No, I want to pick up the racer plume that I dropped accidentally. Uh, okay, well, we'll, we'll dispose of the corpse, then I'll pick up the racer plumes, which are now in my inventory, and then to eat them, I need to go in here and click on myself. There we go. All right, let's keep moving. Uh, we are now, actually, we're in unknown territory. We have not been here before, so... We're taking a we're taking a very different path to get to uh, Punabi, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm like, uh, well, we'll just dispose of the corpse. We don't need things to be so messy. Um, yeah, because I was like, uh, sh should I? Uh, uh, like, I was gonna cut it out because I figured, you know, we go ahead and get just get a lot done. But I can't help myself. It's like I need to explore. All right, where am I in conjunction with um, Miranda? So I, I want to be uh, heading. East. So, uh, let's continue heading uh, east. Now we, uh, our, our fatigue's doing rather well. We're coming up behind this Kagudi. Uh, hopefully we can get our uh, bound longbow up again. There we go. Wow, one shot. All right, let's just run. <laughs> We're just gonna run through the whole thing, one shotting everything with our our arrows here. Come on, come at me. Actually, this is amazing. Um, now, is it because of, uh, of my sneak bonus, or is it... Okay, I'm going to stand up and see how my uh, shot comes across. Nope, one shot. Wow. All right. Oh, hey, Cliff Racer, how's it going? One shot. I have to take a look at the stats of the bound uh, longbow, because I'm like, I don't feel like my <laughs> my, uh, my current uh, marksman skills uh, will say warrant this kind of just slaughter. Hey, Rad, how's it going? You're dead. Wow. Um, okay, I need to get closer to this cliff racer here. I think we're getting close now to, yeah, to an area we've already been. Uh, but dang, like, uh, this is... This is lethal. 
Uh oh, what what happened? What what happened? Hello? Um Oh, I had the arrow at the ready and it uh, despawned and then as such my my shield came out. Okay. I understand what happened there. All right. Let's see if I can get my bound long bow out again. So I I I'll have to be mindful of that. That uh you know it is still a bound longbow, and we will want we will want to find a uh, a legit like a uh, a new bow, uh, or we'll say a, a physical bow, uh, so that we're not always having to rely on a bound one. But I think right now this one is definitely we'll say helping us out in the um, accuracy department uh, because uh, actually what is my marksman skill at? It's at thirty two. Well, that's actually sorry, that's uh, twenty two. Um, it would, it's at 32 because, uh, the fact that this is a bound longbow. Okay. Uh, there's Mirandus over there, which tells me Punabi is very near, and I should be able to find it on my map. Okay. Th th this one's gonna take two hits. Oh, uh, that's right, because the, um, the, uh, arrows, do they not do one to two damage? Let me see. I'm already down to 160 arrows. Um... Let's see, attack, yeah, one to two. So I'm wondering, we'll say, let's see, what's, what's the bow? Uh, let's see. The bow has an attack of two to fifty. So is, does it add damage? Or is it, like, multiply? I don't know. I'll have to look at how, uh, we'll say bow damage is calculated. Like, I, I know having, you know, good arrows it helps with damage, and I know that having a good bow helps with damage, but I'm not too, uh... There's Panabi over there. All right, so we're just gonna head along the path here, and uh, I'll see you guys when we get there. I, I think you've seen enough of me running through the wilderness. Light armor increased to 40. And uh, we've, uh, we're actually right outside Panabi, but I wanted to kill these, uh, these cliff racers before we went inside, so my block skill increased to 10, that's great. There we go. Means we're gonna be blocking things maybe a little bit more frequently. Uh, condition. That's eh, only lightly damaged. Alright. Let's head on into Panabi and, uh, we'll see, get this quest underway. I might be able to go ahead and rest here a little bit. Actually, you know what? Why rest? I've got all these potions. I should be using them to... I should be using them! Uh, like, for example, like my, uh, where is it? Restore, um... Basically, restore Magicka. Like, I've got all the- yeah, right here, look, look at all the- look at all the weight that's adding! And that what, record, uh, restores 50 points? So 50 points, that'll bring me up to what? Uh, 63? Yeah. There we go. Break one of thems. That'll bring me up almost to full, uh, Magicka, and I won't have to actually rest. And it lightens me up a little bit. And- and those- those potions there are from the, uh, Mages Guild chest. They- they're respawning anyways. So. Yeah, we, we're gonna make more use of, we'll say, the potions and stuff. I, I think I saw a shadow. Yeah, there's someone moving around up there. Uh, Manway, how are you doing? Uh, can you face me? Yes, Outlander. Thanks. It was a little awkward talking to the back of your head. I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Well, I was sent here to talk about guild dues. I left the Matus Guild and dedicated my life to studying the adaptive responses of qu uh, quaternary variations in Oblivion streams. If Rannis, uh... Athris wants to do that much, why don't you just pay them yourself? I am unconcerned with such petty financial matters. Okay, then. Alright, before we press further, I'm kind of curious what the, the journal says. Manway suggested that I pay the gold myself. I could do that. But let's try uh, persuading her. I want to I wanna work on persuasion a little bit. Wait, 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 before we do. My personality's 40. It's pretty crap. But if I use Telvani Bug Musk... There we go. That's going to boost that up a little bit, up to 80. Is there anything else I can use to, to fortify my personality? Or even um, some other something that will uh, allow me to, we'll say, be a little, a little bit more persuasive. I don't think so. I think that's about it. Uh, do I have a, a, a spell for that? I don't think so. It would be cool if I did, though. Give me a second. I'm just, I just want to briefly look over my, uh, maybe some of my, my uh, scrolls and see if there's something that will make me a little bit more, you know, likable. Alright, there's not, nothing really there, so we're just gonna go ahead and try, uh, let's, go, let's, let's try pressing a little bit more. We're up to, uh, 70 out of 100. Persuasion. 
Oh no, not persuasion, sorry. Guild dues first. Will you leave me alone if I give you the 2,000 septums? I cannot leave my research unattended. Yes. Uh, I, I'm okay with that. I really did not want to kill you because to me that's- It's a ridiculous reason to kill someone. Thank you. Here, take the gold and leave me to my work. I would advise that you leave here now. We are engaged in very serious research here. And if you disturb my colleagues, they may not be very understanding. Oh! Well, that, that, that paints this entire dungeon in a completely different light. I had forgotten about that. Uh, Manway finally agreed to pay the 2,000 gold she owes. I need to deliver this gold to Renis uh, Atheris in Balmora. But n not before stopping at... Uh, where is that other place? That, that, uh, the other person that we need to track down. No, uh, Sulipund. Sulipund is further along the trail from Punabi. It's just before the fork in the path. Alright. Guess we're heading that way. Wow, I just one shot at a scamp. Alright, here we have, uh, Sulipund. Sulipund, if I recall correct- Oh! This isn't just the place with all the books. I think we've, uh, yeah, we've, we've- this place sounds familiar. Like, I know we've been here before, but I'm trying to remember why we were here. Yeah, you know, I like it when, uh, you get a quest that uh, goes to a certain dungeon, because it kind of gives context to what the dungeon is. Uh, so, you know, I'm not even sure how, uh, bright this area is. Let's, uh... Oh, not wizard staff. No, no, I can't sneak at all. All right, well, staff of light plus one. Now, nobody can hear me go walking, though. Wait a second. Wait, trapped door. I've been here before, right? I could have sworn I've been here. I have been here, right? Why is this door trapped? Do they re-trap themselves? Oh, crap. Um... Oh, hi! Hi, guy! I really don't want you around here. Okay, well, I understand that. Um... You're about as popular as a bull of tar, and whose fault is that? It's your fault, Outlander. <laughs> okay, then. Um, what's your trade? If I liked you better, then I might tell you. Oh, your house Telvani? Ah, yeah, okay, I get it. Telvani. Oh, that's right, and that does tie into, um... That does tie into that, that quest that we've got, that we're currently on. Uh, where is that? It's, um... Mage's Guild. Manway's dues. No, Mage's Guild. No. Uh, Mage's Guild. Recruit or kill Larara Bariloth. Uh, that's right. Where is it? He is... Well, we want to recruit recruit him. And it's probably because he's a powerful Telvanni mage. Okay. I get it. Hi there. You're not exactly charming your way into my graces, friend. I love the, the, the way the dialogue changes uh, based on, um, you know, based on your reputation and your faction and all that. Like, I love that the Telvanni hate me. Um, I really don't want you around here. Okay. I, I'll be leaving soon. Yeah, this is... T I've totally been here before. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, this guy here, this is the guy. Ooh, you've got a lot of money on this table. Hmm. Well, when my levitation wears off and I can sneak again, I might be uh, inclined to, we'll say, borrow some of that. Um, hi, guy, how's it going? Annoying outlanders. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I don't want to hit... I don't want to hit him. Have you a problem with me? Because I have a problem with you. I don't like your attitude, so, so stay away from me. Alright, so this looks like a job for Telvani Bug Musk. I, I, I'm glad I still have some. Um, because this would have been terrible had I not had any. Okay, 80, come on, you gotta like me now. Yes! Alright. Um, join us. Do I look like a fool? Collect your dues from someone else, or at least give me a reason to listen to your drivel. Let's try some persuasion. I want to admire the guy. You know, you dude, you're really awesome. I prefer not to. Not to be awesome? Okay, well, th then, then, you're not awesome! I'm busy that day, sorry. Okay, evidently you have a hearing problem. Alright, how about this? I need to think of something that sounds like, please join us, you're awesome. Nah, uh, I'm bad at this. Admire. Keep it up if you really want to make me mad. <laughs> I don't! I just want you to- No! What else do you want? Please! Here, have some gold. I'm not taking your money. Get lost. 
I'm not taking your money. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. It's a start. What else you got? I got I got another 10. Oh. All right. So he's slowly chipping away at my money. There we go. Speech graphic skill increased to 10. Uh, okay. He's up to 51. Up to 80. There we go. You're generous, Alexis, and your judgment is good. Let's try now. Join us. If I agree to join, will you leave me to my research? Fine, then. I will join the Mages Guild next time I'm in Balmora. Your journal has been updated. I convinced, uh, we'll say, Larar Bereloth to join the Mages Guild. I should re report my success to Rannis uh, uh, Atheris in Balmora. Now, I really like the, the fact that I, I was able to, we'll say, complete this quest without bloodshed. Uh, what am I getting caught on? I'm getting caught on something here. With my my levitation, is it the the, the wall? Like what, what what am I getting stuck on? Hmm. Anyways, uh, you know I, I love that that option. I, I hate it when uh, you kind of get forced into one way of playing. They're like, no, you need to do this. All right, let's see. Can I get the gold? Uh, he's looking right at me. Jason, this is not going to work. Wait a second. I have, I have telekinesis. That's right, so I can be standing even further away. That's right, even further away. Um, all right, the ring and... Oh, that was only 100? I was kind of hoping it was several stacks. Oh, uh, all right. Well, yeah, I guess that did kind of look like 100 coins. On Oblivion, the Brothers of Darkness. Oh, yeah, we, we've looked at his book collection before. Uh, but have we looked in his chest? Uh, what have we got? Potion of water breathing, swift swim, a health potion, restore magicka. Two points. Oh, this is this is cheap, as evidenced by the fact that it says cheap restore magicka. All right. Um, then restore health. Why not? All right. I grabbed a couple things. I'm out of here. I, like, I had to use some of my money, right? I had to, to bribe him, so... I, I, the way I see it, I just took some of my money back. All right, we're good. What was that? It was me being super sneaky. Nobody knows I'm here because of the blur ring. Whoosh. All right, so basically, we've gone ahead and we've uh, completed these uh, two quests for the Maida's Guild, so why don't we head on back to the Maida's Guild? Hmm, I'm, I'm debating if I should use one of my... Sweet, acrobatics increased to 42. I'm wondering if I should... I use one of my scrolls. If I use, hmm, if I use Almzivi intervention, is it gonna drop me in Balmora or in Vivic? What, what am I closer to? You know what? Let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, where is uh, the scroll of Almzivi intervention? I have how many of these? I have four of them. All right. Let's uh, let's see if uh, this fast travel can get us somewhere. Loading area. We are in Eld Run! Yay! That's totally where I needed to be. Uh, all right. Do I have uh, any way of completing that, um... Hmm. Completing this, this quest. Uh, the, the, the Eld Run Mages Guild. All right. You know what? Let's take a shot at it. Let's take a shot at the Eld Run Mages Guild quest. Uh, I've, um... Uh, right now my, my chances of casting Steve are like zero, but I suspect that that is because of, um... Uh, the fact that I don't have enough magic to be able to cast it right now. Alright, so, let's go ahead in here. Um... All right. I'm listening. We, we picked up that cheap Restore Magicka. Uh, we just stole that from uh, the, the, uh, the Telvani guy. So why don't we... Where is that? Cheap, uh, restore magicka. So, uh, two points for five seconds, so that's gonna bring us up by ten. That'll bring us up to sixty. That'll be just enough to cast Steve once. And I wanna see what my, what my percentage chance is. the brown one seemed to last longer. Uh, Steve, I got a 23% chance of casting it, and it will open any lock in the game. Alright. Uh-oh. Hello? All right, so I need to be sneaky because I know there's one guy still in here, and he—he's like the one guy who was left behind to guard. Um, actually, while I'm at it, Mage's Guild supply chest. This is probably restored. Yep. <laughs> there we go. We'll go ahead and grab some uh, 
of those. I don't need fortify willpower, but I could sell them. Hmm. Might as well. I, I used I used the scroll to get here. I might as well go ahead and grab it. We'll grab some stuff. Uh, the fortify willpower. Screw it. We'll grab it. We'll sell it. Or you know we'll hang on to it to get like a, a my uh, like a tiny little uh, boost against. Um, uh, what do you call that? Certain spells. Oh crap! That's the guy, isn't it? That's the uh, the guard guy. That's the guy they left behind to guard the place. <sighs> if I, if I, okay, can I sneak past him? Let me see. It. Thief ring, and then I'll use my blur ring, and hopefully my sneak skill increases to 75. Please let me just walk right past him. Yeah, yeah, he didn't even know I was here. Sweet, I can. We'll say go ahead and uh, try and open that lock without being disturbed whatsoever. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm All right. Uh, now I don't know where it is. I'm pretty sure it's in here. There was a. What is it? Was it in this room? Lock level 100. I don't think that's the one. I'm pretty sure what we're here for is in a small chest. Um, like this chest here, maybe. Lock level 75. Okay. Let's try casting Steve. Come on, Steve. We've got a 33% chance of casting this. <sighs> Alteration. What's uh, the uh, attribute for... Uh, willpower. Governing attribute. If I fortify a willpower, will that increase my chances of casting the spell? Science time. Uh, where is it? There we go. Fortify willpower. I've got 10 of them. All right. Fortifying willpower. My alteration... Uh, is still where it's supposed to be. Steve, it's at 35%, so it does have a small, uh, impact. Okay. Come on. Failed casting the spell. Okay, I need to restore my, my magicka. Alright, come on. Come on, I need some more magic. That's only gonna get me up to 50. Okay, so what I need to do is let it go up, and then right before it gets to full, cast the spell. All right, that didn't work either. Um, I'm gonna have to do this a couple times. Go ahead and drink another potion right before I get the full cast. Ugh, come on, I can do this. We're gonna use, we're gonna blow through a bunch of magic potions, but that's okay. That's okay. Come on. There we go. Your spell has unlocked its target. Nothing. Nothing of interest. Okay, maybe it's the the big 100th place. Uh, yeah, that one's unlocked as well. So, is it in the big thing? I, I don't even remember what we came here for. What did we come here for? <laughs> let's look at our, uh, let's look at our quest here. Um, I believe it was a, uh, Thieves Guild quest. Oh, we've got so many quests going at once right now. Um, Mages Guild, no. The Sleeper's Awake, no. Patchwork, uh, Thieves Guild, loot the Mages Guild. Uh, An Ana Ren's Devil Tanto. Okay, so, um, I'm guessing maybe he was a crafter, so maybe he, uh, right here would work. Yeah, okay, this, this, that, that makes sense to me, I think. So maybe he created this really cool tanto in this sort of forge area, because it, it looks like there's some, uh, blacksmithing stuff right over there, right? Maybe? Yeah. There's an anvil and crap, so, looks like, it looks, looks blacksmithy to me. Uh, let's go ahead and try to open up this closet. Come on! Oh, two points short. Yeah, there we go. Spell unlocked its target. Wow! Look at all the enchanted stuff! Oh, beautiful. Magic guard robe. Cast when use. Resist magicka. Uh, ooh. This works- this will work well with the boots of blinding speed. Okay. Uh, detect key. Uh, summon Skeletal Minion. A Velos Tower Shield. Restore, uh, 10 points on health. Peacemaker. But you know what? I don't see... The, um... The thing we basically came here for. Darn it. So it's not here. Alright, well, I'm gonna drop all this stuff on the ground so I can come back and grab it at a later time. There we go. Um, actually, storm blades. There's four storm blades. You know, we'll compare that in a bit. We'll compare all that stuff later. We're gonna drop all the stuff on the ground, and then, um, 
We can compare stats later. The Magic Guard robe I'm, I am going to grab right now, though. Uh, because I suspect if I throw that on real quick, I can put, throw on the boots of blinding speed. And, uh, you know, zoom around a little bit. Alright, so that's that's some cool enchanted stuff here. Uh, we will go ahead and add that to our... Actually, that's right, we have a bit of a collection going on upstairs. I forgot about that. Alright, where is the other... Uh, there's got to be another chest here that I'm missing. Okay, we got two small chests here that I wasn't able to open before. We got a lock level 75 and a lock level 65. Alright, so let's go ahead and choose Steve again. Um... I have to start uh, going through some. Oh wait, no. Uh, where's my fortify uh, uh, willpower? I had a fortify willpower, did I not? There we go. Fortify willpower that increased my chances. Then I go ahead and uh, restore some magicka. So that's almost done. Sweet. And wow, there's a lot of potions in here. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna go have to, I'm gonna have to, we'll say, loot this. Uh, at least grab some more, uh, maybe not Fortify Fatigue. I like Restoring. For, uh, Fortify Magicka? Hmm. Let's actually drink that now. It'll let me hold more Magicka for a little bit uh, of time, right? I don't think that's really gonna help me, but... Actually, if I uh, Fortify my Fatigue, will that... If I have a higher of Fatigue, will that help me? I don't know. Grab a... let's see. Potion of Night Eye, maybe? I, I grabbed the invisibility one. Restore Fatigue, I want that. Uh, restore Intelligence... no, I want to restore Magicka though. I'll take some of that because I'm... I'm, I'm restoring a lot of... Uh, Magicka. Restore Speed. A lot of Restore stuff, so not really what we want. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get into this, uh, this chest here. So... Uh, we need to restore our Magicka again. You know, um... <laughs> the, the inventory system in here, it's, it's okay, but when you start getting tons of potions and stuff, um... Like, I'm not gonna say it's as bad as Daggerfall, but it is, uh... It is, uh, decently bad. Decently bad, yeah, that's, uh, that's a way to put it. Alright. There it is! Anaroren's Devil Tanto. Uh, what's the weight on that? Four, I can carry that. Sweet, and I'll take the money too. Sweet! Now let's get out of here. Uh, I need to... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and Thief Ring and Blur Ring our way out of here. Where's the, uh, the guard? Oh, there he is. Don't mind me, I'm just sneaking back out of the Mage's Guild after just looting the place. Sweet. There we go, we finally! Finally completed this, uh, this, this quest, this, this, uh... We finally finished this quest for the Thieves' Guild. What brings you out in a gloom such as this? Uh, you know, thievery. Alright. Uh, unfortunately, we are out of time for today, so, uh, we'll say next time we'll go ahead and cash in this quest, then we'll go ahead and cash in the, ma uh, the Mages' Guild quests, and then we'll jump back onto the main quest! I think that sounds like a good idea. Um, I'll probably, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe next time we'll, um, at some point we'll try to track down those books we were supposed to, uh, to read. I think that'd be a good idea. Anyways, if you like the video, you like the content, and you would like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, go ahead and leave it a thumbs down. Either way, though, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.